Uh, we are here with my kayak and kids today. Yeah. And what we're gonna do on this kayak is put a fish finder on it. Yeah. Yeah. We've got a yeah. Lawrence fish finder, yeah. the hook four, I think. Yeah. And I actually won it at a fishing tournament, yeah. but it actually was supposed to go to someone else actually gave me their ticket that's how i won it they would have won it if they hadn't given me their ticket so that was pretty neat uh so what i'm gonna do is mount it to my old kayak here i got an old uh pelican 12 foot i mean sun dolphin kayak just a old one that's what i got right now i've used it i probably put 100 miles on it or more these older kayaks don't have room for anything but what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna mount it. We got the base, we got four screws there okay, to mount it. And I think I'm gonna mount it right there, I think yeah. is my best option. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Next I got the battery. Yeah. And it's a 12 volt sealed lead acid. Like a 7.5 amp hours and for like game cameras or feeders and they work fish finders too but I don't have finding a spot to put it I could just set it in there like that and it'd be fine but it'd be loose and it'd be in the way because I set my tackle there so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a hole here and where I can slide it down in, I'm gonna make a cradle. I can slide it in where it'll slide in, down in there out of the way and I'll run my wire, my wiring for, for it through here, through here to the back, to the back of the base right there where it comes out there. And the only wiring I'll have will be going to the, the Scotty mount for the, the sonar and I'll show you that in a second. I've got the Scotty mount here yeah. for the uh, sonar and I, I believe I'm gonna put it is right here and just like that it'll drop out of the way with the sonar there and you know, with the Scotty mount you can adjust it the length of the length of the arm down so that's no problem there and so with that mounted here i will run the wiring down here this old peg the pedals are too they, they were in the way with me anyway because i put rest my feet here because of the that long leg so i'm gonna run the wiring down here and here discreetly out of the way yeah. and then down into there where the battery is and the, so the only wiring that will be out will be exposed yeah. will be the one going out here to the Scotty mount so that way you have minimal um, minimal things to get on, stuck Daddy. so let's on. see how that goes All right, there's the lines you see okay right there you can see I'm gonna follow that with the router and cut that little square out Cradle in there now. 
It's going to measure the depth of the hole to the depth of the battery. Dad, I will relate you. Alright, so I made a bracket, the dimensions of the battery and the depth that I wanted it to go in. I made this to, so it doesn't, the battery won't slide through. Let's see how it works. I'll make a seal. I'm not sure what I'm going to use yet around the sides, but seal it so it'll be at least watertight there. It's not going to rattle around anywhere. It's going to stay right there. I can just feed the wire through the bottom. So I got self-tapping screws, wood screws, and I'm going to set it right there. Snug it up. You don't like to be tight, extremely tight. This is just plastic, so you don't want to strip it out. I'm using wood screws because they have coarse threads. Bite into the plastic. I don't think that's going anywhere. Just that, like that, down like that. Get to the lock there with one hand. Do that and then use self tapping screws for this as well. If I have any problems with the leaks, I'm just going to take one screw out at a time and then coat them with a uh, with RTV. And that should be all I need. Must have got cut on the plastic. All right, so I'm gonna leave it in here for the battery long enough to pull the battery out, disconnect it, and attach it. And then I'm leave enough to attach this down here and around so it won't get caught on my feet. 
going to zip tie that together. All right, so I know it's going to be kind of hard to see, but I've got this attached uh, with an end that came with the Scotty mount. The way I'm going to adjust the cable, I don't know what the depth I'll need for this kayak for it to read. So I'm going to go all the way out, just hold the wire into there so that it'll reach that far. And then I'm going to take a zip tie and tie it right here. Tighten those two wing nuts and then that'll fold down to the bottom and this uh, is on this one will rest right up against the side of it. It might just rest off the side, just off the edge a little bit. Alright, here's what it looks like on the side. Right there. So I'm going to do is take these little uh, P-clamps here, little P-clamp, I'm going to attach it to the wire. Screen on there, the battery there, a P-clamp there, the P-clamp there, and I put my foot there. I might have to put one right here, but right there I might, but I'm just going to wait and see how it goes like that. So I got a little play in it, a little stretch in that. So there it is. All right, let's see if it'll cut on. There it is. Touch screen or not. There's a simulator. They're showing some fish, some bait fish right there. You guys showing bait fish there. So that would be good. Going through the simulator again. Night mode, settings, GPS, sonar, alarms, units, system, and language, beep, satellites, restore defaults. I'll get this all programmed when I get out on the water. Okay, let's see if our fish finder works. Made it out to the water. Okay, it's simulating right now. I gotta get out of the simulator. There we go. Alright, so I got the fish finder working. Got fish? Got the fish finally working, it says we're in four foot of water. Go back out this way, it's getting deeper. It's just working nine feet. Twelve feet, thirteen feet. Look at that! Keep reeling, keep reeling. Keep reeling. 